Hello, Merwet the Universe, Lady Nim here, and we have the Japan Crate Lucky. Lucky Crate. Yay! Every so often, and this is why Japan Crate is one of my favorite crates, they will do either the best of crate at the end of the year like they did last year. We did get that. Kaz ate it. Well, I, I helped him eat it, but he mostly ate it. Uh, and then they have this, the Lucky Crate. And... You know, I guess because it's Chinese New Year or Ren New Year. Anyway, it probably has nothing to do with this. They will do little crates. This was $15. This thing is heavy. It is heavier than the normal Japan crate, which is awesome. And you have the chance to win one of those giant Totoro beds or a DS, XL, or anything else that they could probably think of to throw in these things. And they're affordable. Again, this is why this is my favorite crate, other than the candy. Uh, we did have a February crate, but um, there's not much left of it. Again, Kaz and me ate it. I blame the memory card because it corrupted and ate everything. Anyway, moving on. And they do keep packaging. This is the poster that I mentioned in a previous video. This is what your crate could contain. And there is a lot of candy. And the ones that are starred are bonus candies. The ones in circles are regular candies. And then there's also, you could get a whole Kit Kat. You could get one that's nothing but DUI kits. There are special prizes. There are plushies. So let's find out what we got. Oh lord, there's a lot. Ooh, I love these, these sugar star candies. And as we look at the massive, massive poster, which will probably get hung up somewhere. Because I don't know your name. Ken PTO. Again, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing this horribly. Traditional Japanese candy from the 16th century. Little sugar bombs that you can pop in your mouth or a hot drink. This is also featured heavily in a lot of uh, Ghibli Studios. And a lot of them, that's where I first saw it, and I'm so happy I, we got this again. I have to hide this from Kaz. This is the soda candies we've had before. Da, 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 where are you? The mystery soda balls? Is that it? Yes. Similar to Skittles, but with a better taste. No, it, this is not them. It looks very similar, though. Oh, no. I dropped it. Mechanical errors. Oh, no. Okay, I found it. Okay, this is the Shiwa Shiwa Sodas. Soda. Soda. Refers to the sound of fizzy and soda. Wait for the center to find out how this candy got its name. These were fun, and Kaz loves these. Ooh, these are the great pull and peels. These will be gone tonight. Yep, grape ribbon. We bet you've never had candy quite like this. Tart grape with a unique soft texture. And it does, and it's really good. What is it? Oh, these are the fortune sticks. I didn't... I wasn't uh, lucky enough to get these before because I signed up too late, but now I have them. Let's see, was this one of these special candies? Do, do, do. Fortune gum. Nope. This is not a special candy. Lemon squash? Lemon squish? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. Lemon squish. Lemony squish. This is a special candy! And you can have it from the bottle or frozen. I'm gonna make Dave try it. Oh. Here's an orange soda. This is also a special candy. Orange drink originated in California back in the 20s, but was discontinued and is now only available in Japan. I have the other can of this, so we'll probably have those in the Try Me video. What are you? 
You are new to me. Uh... This looks like the Shangri-La Melon Soda. Delicious and creamy with a nice melon flavor. It might be a new soda flavor. Okay, we'll try it. Uh, this is also one of these special can or specialties for the box. I love these. Ooh, the hot chili salad. I can't get this here. I can only get the roasted ham, which is a weird flavor in and of itself, but we won't talk about that. Let's see. This is not a special candy, but I haven't tried it yet, so it's going to be awesome. The... Green tea Kit Kats. I had these in the February box that got eaten. They were okay. I think this one they just threw in, which is awesome. I love little gifts. They were okay. I'm going to give it to my mom and see what she says. And then... These are Choco Puka. Paca. Crispy pretzel biscuit shells filled with yummy chocolate goodness. Yay! I think that's what that is. And they come with different shapes. Oh, that should be fun. Alright, so this is the lucky box. And I've been told to look inside because there's the lucky cat. And if you didn't find a special bonus, then they're giving you $7 off towards any premium or original crate. This is for new subscribers only, so I can't use it. So, here you go. It's going to be Lucky 7. If you want to try this crate, go for it. I recommend it at least once. Get the premium crate and get $7 off, so that drops it down to $23. You can't beat that. And then we will have the lemon squish in the I Made Dave Try It video. Should be fun. So we have a couple other things for him to try. Make him try, whether he likes it or not. I can't put this crate back together right. Well, okay, guys, it's all yours. Yes, yes, you can have it now. And it's gone. So thank you very much, Japan Crate, for the Lucky Crates. Uh, whenever they do it again, get these boxes, get this crate, because it's just awesome. They give you so much. And like I said, it's one of the better ones out there. Uh, let's see. Am I going to do V-Toyo Box? I have it. It's tiny. Yeah, I guess I will in a different video. It'll be a short video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you later.